I would recommend that you know, conservatives who look at President Trump doing this, President-elect Trump doing this, and saying, well, it seems okay to me, just imagine if the shoe were on the other foot for a second and it were Barack Obama lecturing NASCAR fans if he got booed at some sort of NASCAR <laughs> event. You know, it, it, it doesn't seem totally appropriate for the president-elect of the United States to be doing this. On the other hand, you know, I, I would recommend that the media sort of take a second look at how much focus they put on things like this, because the fact is that mm. if you're going to turn it all the way up to 11 on a Hamilton tweet, you know, this is going to be a long presidency for all of you. Is that what you think happened on Saturday? And again today, we've turned it up to 11. Yeah, I think I think that the, you guys have been. I think the mainstream media has been at 11 since the election, and I think that mm. you know that means that there's no place to turn it from there. I mean, this is sort of the problem uh, in the 2016 election. I think there are a lot of the, a lot of aspersions cast at Mitt Romney. Uh, and then when you came back in 2016 and cast the same aspersions at Donald Trump, who's a very different candidate, a lot of people just tuned it out. I would, I really think that you're, that the media is in danger of blowing its credibility if they're going to be a, so exuberant about covering every aspect of Trump's foibles, because there are going to be some things he does that are actually probably not very good, and you're going to want people to pay attention to it. And if you pay the same amount of attention to a Hamilton tweet that you do for, to, for example, something I think is significantly more troubling, you know, President-elect Trump meeting with business partners from India while he's the president-elect, you know, that, that seems to me something where you ought to be putting more focus if you're going to actually you know, point out problems here. Charles, do you agree? I think, no. I